a pleasure to ask His Excellency, the President of Kenya, to make his remarks. Thank you. Please be seated. The family of our friend, mentor, father, our priest, Bishop Emeritus John Jenga, your eminence, John Cardinal Njue, your graces, my Lord Bishops, all the clergy here present, all mourners here present. My first duty is to pass my condolences to the family, to the church, and indeed to all Kenyans as we mourn our departed friend and brother, Bishop Emeritus John Jenga. I have had the opportunity to know him most of my life. And I think I can say that everything that has been said about him, a man of humility, a man of great humor, a man dedicated to the service of God, but also dedicated to the service of man, not just to satisfy their spiritual needs, but also to satisfy their human needs. He was a man dedicated to education. He was a man who was generous with whatever little he had. And I believe this is the essence of being a human being. To be able to care, to be able to love, and to be able to commit yourself and your life to the service of your fellow man. We all have many things I believe we can learn from him. Especially as we look at life today and the many challenges that face us all on a day-to-day -day basis. We've all heard of the role he played and I, for one, can vouch for that because he was a regular visitor in my father's home in Gatundo on matters education. And he played a huge role in ensuring that the church and government were able to walk together to ensure that our young country at that time was able to give quality education that was aimed at uplifting the lives of our people. And there was a very good understanding between church and state. And I have mentioned the issue of the challenges of today's world. And many of those challenges, I believe, have come out possibly as a result of this growing need, fed, I believe, not even by Kenyans, that we need to have this separation of church and state. Yes, we do. Church and state must remain separate. But we must be interdependent. We must be able to walk and talk together as they did in those early days. The church feeds our spiritual needs. The state 
feeds our physical and human needs while here on earth. But our bishop has shown us that it is possible to merge the two while still being separate and achieve the same objective. And for that reason, and we have had many discussions with the church leaders here present on this particular matter. And I believe matters are not necessarily moving at the pace that they should move at. We need to be able that, to get back to that level where church-sponsored schools must be allowed to mentor our children. If we look at some of the problems and the challenges, if we have any reason to say so, look at what is happening in some of our schools. Look at the level of indiscipline that we have in our schools. Look at the level of some of the activities where school children are taking it upon themselves to burn schools. It tells you there is something missing in their lives. This is not something that we heard of in those days. And I want to give you my assurance today that we will get back to those days. I want to give you my assurance today that we must restore the chaplaincies so that we can mentor and spiritually guide our children from a very early day. This is a must, and we shall do it. I don't believe there is any law that stops us or prevents us. It is just a question of us doing it. And secondly, as I have just instructed today, there are a lot of church uh, schools sponsored and built by the church. And the Ministry of Education, and I'm saying it for the last time today, I want you to ensure that you restore that sponsorship back. And secondly, <laughs> you have one week in which to restore all church-owned land and schools back to their rightful owner. And I don't know whether that man from Lance who we were talking with, Ametoroka. Huh? The PS will be with your education secretary tomorrow morning. And he has a week to finalize on that agenda that we have discussed for the longest of time. That is the least we can do to honor the memory of this legend who lies before us. Kwa hayo machache na mengi nasema Mungu awabariki Mungu awalinde na Mungu amlaze mzee wetu pahali pema mpaka tutaona na tena na mzee wangu mudi usiwe na haraka we still need you usiwe na haraka mingi bado uko na miaka mingi eh hey, don't be in a hurry to join him Serve us for a little bit longer here May God bless you and keep you all. Asante ni sana.